peeps, welcome back. It is Monday again and I'm kind of getting back into the groove of things. Welcome to day 19, I was going to try to do that with fingers, that doesn't work, of the 100k sprint. <laughs> and if you've been following the channel for a while and you're like, what happened to day 17 and 18? Surprise plot twist, they don't exist. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. First off, how many people joined my email list since Friday? Nobody! How many people on SMS? Nobody that I think I saw. What I do in sales? Nothing since Friday. <laughs> it is literally the weekend that did not exist, uh, is what happened here. Uh, yeah, because, you know, we can do the best laid plans of mice and entrepreneurs and whatnot, and then kids get sick. So, um, I ended up and spent bulk of my weekend. So Friday, Saturday, today as a toddler pillow, got kiddos, you know, I co-parent, she's my nephew, but still all that craziness. <laughs> and then Sunday we did this like, oh, this, this really necessary evil called grocery shopping what? Right? Craziness. Like eight hours of grocery shopping. To be fair, we hadn't been grocery shopping in like a month, but anyway. So it was the weekend that didn't exist. Down to, we didn't host a trunk show. <laughs> um, I didn't do, I like, I was just dead and <laughs> missed out on these videos. I missed you guys. I'm happy to be back. So that was the weekend. It is now Monday of Black Friday week. What? Um, I saw Susan Bradley call this the um, Ecom Olympics, and I so want to borrow that term because I think that's excellent. <laughs> that's everything that's going on, and it's just it's so much fun. So I'm I was a little nervous. I was gonna have my nephew all week and be like, "What in the hell am I gonna do <laughs> with losing so many days?" So that's because that ends up then I lose like five days the whole week gone. Um, but now I found out I'm probably not gonna have him tomorrow on Wednesday, so we are like full steam ahead. Work like the power will be shut off, work like the internet's gonna disappear. Like it's happened to me twice. Um, it happened Friday, it also happened this morning where the internet just dropped, and I know other people have been experiencing that too. So, work, set your timers, do whatever, but like stuff that you have to do, get it done and then lays around and gets stuck into scroll holes and all that craziness stuff. So work, work, work as fast as you can here. And my brain just went, you can't catch me on the gingerbread man. You know you've been hanging out with toddlers too long when that comes into your head. But anyway, this is not all a tale of loss and sorrow and disappearing weekends here. There's also good news and that is I launched the giveaway! Yes! It was supposed to launch yesterday. It did not. I got a lot of the foundation work of it done and set up. I didn't have all the emails and the prep work done um, until really just before I started recording this video and my launch email went out about the giveaway. So, goody G there, fantastic. And we're doing quite an epic giveaway here. So this is a total $250 giveaway. We're giving away five $50 gift cards. Now, People, some of you might be screaming like, ah, Melissa, that's crazy. I know. I know it's crazy. That's exactly why I'm doing it. So giveaways tend to not get a good response unless they kind of hurt. In the same way that I say, if your prices don't make you nauseous, they're not high enough. If a giveaway doesn't give you a micro heart attack, like, <clears throat> it's probably not good enough. It's probably not sexy enough. It's probably not enticing enough. So I am giving away gift cards. Now, usually I am in favor of product giveaways because when people see the images and people see the prize, if they're not in some way related to your target audience, they're probably not going to take that prize versus, you know, why did I put them away? I had out a whole bunch of Starbucks gift cards and I put them for the photo cover photo here and then I put them back. It's like I wouldn't give away Starbucks gift cards. Why? Because it has nothing to do with my jewelry brand. And I want people on my email list who are going to at some point shop jewelry or have people that they want to shop jewelry for or refer my giveaway to people who will shop jewelry, okay? They need to be in that lifestyle somewhat. So I'm usually all about product giveaways, but this is a very unique week of the year. <laughs> this is the Ecom Olympics. We need to get attention and drive people to our stores. So 
I am doing a five fifty dollar gift cards. Why? Because I'm angling it as a pre Black Friday giveaway extravaganza. They will get their gift cards on Thursday, which means they can use them to shop on Friday <laughs> when the sale goes live. Because Thursday, I'm not doing my Black Friday sale. Thanksgiving, we'll get the giveaway winner's announcement and launch the Mifki. So, yay! Mifki is coming. I am panicking. It's all that greatness. <laughs> but that is the my theory and mental theory behind what I'm doing as a giveaway. Is it's not product based. It's to entice shopping. And now the really cool thing is that when you have a product, you have to get people to experiment, um, to like think and imagine how they would use or wear it, like where it fits into their life. When you do a shopping spree or a gift card or store credit, something like that, I don't tend to like the phrase store credit because to me that sounds like you've returned something and you have store credit, but that's not just be the stigma in my head. But when you have a shopping spree or a gift card as your giveaway, now you're getting people to imagine spending money they don't have yet. And that is a better way to entice them on here. Like I said, this is the only time I'm doing, I don't think I've done gift cards as the prize for a big giveaway like this before. I've definitely done them off of smaller giveaways, off of group challenges, and I still didn't get that up and running yet. Whoops. Uh, but anyway, so that's all good. <laughs> um, I should really get launching on that. It was supposed to be a Thanksgiving themed challenge and I just dropped the ball literally like boom, shattered on the ground. But anyway, so that is done. That is launched. I have, so I have my giveaway launched. I have all of my follow-up sequences. I might shoot a video tomorrow and get people to watch um, a video to get extra points. Um, if you guys want to know how to game a YouTube channel, I got you. <laughs> I haven't done it on this channel. I probably could. I need to give away something super awesome to you guys, but we'll see. Um, I hate you to share it. So I haven't done it in coaching yet, but in product, uh, it's easy to gamify a uh, YouTube channel with a giveaway. Um, so I have that stuff going on. The giveaway is launched. The um, follow-up emails that they get for it are launched, The are turned on, the uh, or the confirmation email series, I should say. The announcement email is launched and I figured while this video is uploading, I will do my social posts and I'm going to change up the covers for um, Facebook on my personal business and group and they will all get about the giveaway. Which means on Thursday, I change all those things up to be about the Mifki <laughs> and they will probably stay at Mifki for a while. Um, I tend not to change those covers as much, but really it's a really powerful thing to do on Facebook. That's one of the few things, especially on your personal side, that gets pushed out to like everyone. So if you want extreme attention on something, make a Facebook cover about it. So um, all of that is done. It was a goal to get all of my emails scheduled tonight. I don't know that that's necessarily going to happen um, through tomorrow and Wednesday, but maybe if I get, as long as I get all the social stuff done, I'm pretty happy. And that's about it. The only thing that I have for you guys is Saturday. I will totally admit, instead of shooting a YouTube video for you, I watched Disenchanted on Disney Plus. And I gotta say, I was disenchanted with Disenchanted. It was... It did not have the heart and soul of the first one. It definitely, to me, felt like a money grab. And just like a whole bunch of plot stuff and characters that from the first movie were very well rounded and had depth and here turned kind of meh, flat. So whatever. I watched it. Don't need to watch it again. All done. Next up is the Santa Claus series. <laughs> so let me know what you guys are watching. If you're watching anything like with all the insanity of Sick Kiddo and that, I needed a brain off night. And so I chose this and to do that. Don't need to do it again. And that's about it. Oh, and I can let you guys know that the giveaway is already working because right before I turned the camera on to record this, I already had someone asking to join my Facebook group. And that is one of the things. If you guys want a walkthrough of like how I lay out my prizes, how I game and get more points on my giveaways um, and get people to take more actions, let me know. I can do a screen record of that for you guys super quick. Maybe that'll be tomorrow's video if you want it. Um, but you gotta comment below and let me know that's what you want. 
but one of the actions I have people do to get extra points is to join my Facebook group. They can leave if they want. They don't, it's not an action they have to take. But if you want extra points, this is an option, is to join my Facebook group. And that is kind of a way I can gauge like, the people who are really vested in this giveaway. They're all doing that. So I got the first um, request to do that. So I know the giveaway is up. It's live. And that email list sitting at zero is going to be very different tomorrow um, as this giveaway starts to explode. I am running the projection, but by the time I'm doing this tomorrow, I should have at least 100 emails on that list. And we'll see where we are. If that's the goal, that's what I'm working on. And we'll see if we get to 100 for that. Maybe we'll surpass it. I don't know. Um, and that's about it. So guys, I will talk to you tomorrow back to our regularly scheduled programming here. And yeah, stay epic, stay awesome, survive, get your push-ups in for, you know, Ecom Olympics. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night.